Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of the Rails API series. In this episode, we're going to be continuing off from the previous episode. Uh, so before I go ahead, I just want to mention I did a typo in the previous episode. So I want to fix that before we go ahead uh, to make sure that our test is actually correct. So I'm going to do a Rails test again, just to make sure that everything is okay. The index action could not be found. Okay, now that's better. Um, so basically now what we need to do is implement that particular endpoint. Uh, now they have the test done. So uh, it didn't take that long for us to write the test. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the def index end. And we're going to get organization equals current account organizations. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we're going to render index locals organizations organizations status success. So that's pretty much all we want uh, in terms of what's going on in the index. We're going to just render out the, the view. Uh, so if we now run the test again, it's going to show us a different error. Yeah, so it's missing out missing the view, which is what we expect because we haven't implemented the view just yet. And so basically now uh, I'm going to go ahead and implement the view. So I'm going to go and do uh, index dot j builder. All right, so now uh, we can just copy this part over here, uh, paste this over here, and do a organizations. And here it's going to be organization. And here we're just going to do v1 organizations, organization. And here it's going to be organization. And organization. All right, so um, let's also fix the magic comments. All right, great. Uh, so basically, um, now we can test our endpoints of Rails test. All right, so let's see what the problem is here. All right, so I'm going to do a by bug and run the test. And here we can do organizations. So it is creating the, it is loading the organizations over here, which is fine. So I'm going to do an exit over there. Remove that guy. So let me say change status to OK and do a Rails test. All right, so it still says organization controller test 25. Okay, so it's something in our test which is not working. Uh, so I'm going to head over into here and take a look at number 25 here. All right, uh, so I'm going to do a buy bug here in our test and run the test again. So I probably forgot something or, you know, Oh, you know what? We need to do a data and then map. That's what it is. So let's, yeah. So we need to parse and then we need to get the data inside because it's, it's nested under data. Yeah, that's our convention. So I'm going to exit and that should pretty much fix uh, the problem that we have. So do Rails test. All right, so now we get a different error, expected nil to include. Uh, so let's see why that is. All right, so I'm going to do a by bug here. Rails test. All right, so now let's take a look at organization IDs. It's nil. All right, fair enough. Let's take a look at response dot body. So Jason. Oh, well, I did a boo boo and I did not pass the ID in here as a data uh, attribute. So I'm going to just exit. I already know what's going on. So I'm going to 
go ahead and uh, just go in here and add ID and then Rails test and we should be green. Booyah. All right. So that pretty much fixes uh, everything. And we have an endpoint that actually works. And we did it test driven style. Uh, and it wasn't so bad. So yeah, uh, with that, uh, I want to wrap this episode up. This is a free episode. And if you want to watch the episode where I actually wrote the test, uh, you know, check, check out the previous episode is a member exclusive episode. So if you're not a paying member, you got to pay $9 a month uh, on our website. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Check that out. And, uh, you know, we want to thank everyone who is a paying member. Um, that's the only reason why we're still alive and we're still operating and we're still, you know, working on new things and open sourcing stuff. And so, yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up. Like our video on YouTube uh, if you like it, if you found it useful. Share it with your friends and family. Uh, with that, I want to see you guys in the next episode.